the Storm Track 5 weather team, alerting you to severe weather danger. All right, let's start off by taking a look at some of the cameras across our area. We'll start first with UVA Wise. You notice a little bit of cloud cover there, but a pretty nice sunrise in Wise this morning. Johnson City coming in with a mix of clouds and sunshine as well. And finally, for our friends in Marion, Southwest Virginia, notice a little more sunshine there showing up on our camera. We do have that mix of clouds and sunshine around, generally indicated here on our satellite picture. Some of the clouds cross portions of Southwest Virginia, a little bit of cloud cover across Northeast Tennessee, and we'll see that through the day. Clouds not clearing as fast as we thought they would through the overnight hours, but high pressure will eventually take control, and that will really control our weather through today, tomorrow, and the next couple of days with some pretty nice conditions expected as we go through the afternoon here on Saturday. A little bit of cloud cover at times. Can't even rule out maybe a stray sprinkle or a shower across the area. The mountains high, having the best chance for any of that to pop up. Only putting rain chances though around 20% for this afternoon. Then into the overnight hours, we start to see the skies clear a little bit, so we'll say partly cloudy skies through the overnight. Temperatures this afternoon, middle to upper 70s. How about 77 towards portions of Kingsport, Bristol, 78, Johnson City, 75 in Abaddon, and some middle 70s towards Lebanon and near at the areas of Scott County, 74 in Mountain City, 65 in Jefferson, Boone, 72 in Marion. And for our friends in Southwest Virginia, 75 Horse Clintwood, 76 in Grundy, and some middle 70s in Southeast Kentucky with that mix of clouds and sunshine this afternoon. Now, one thing you may have noticed is even though we have temperatures in the 70s, it feels pretty refreshing outside. Check out the dew points. Dew points have been in the lower 50s to middle 50s, and that's some pretty comfortable air. As we take a look at our dew point meter, that's pretty close towards the bottom there. So thankfully not towards what we see over the summer in that air you can wear category, more comfortable air. That comfortable air, lower dew points, allows temperatures to drop through the overnight. Sometimes we say the temperature through the overnight will drop to near the dew point. Typically it won't drop below the dew point. So if you ever want to try to forecast the overnight low, take a look at the dew points. You may get it right there on the money. 52 in Abingdon tonight, 53 in Bristol, 53 in Gates City with partly cloudy skies through the overnight hours and light winds expected as well. Our severe threat tracker staying in the low alert level for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday with no adverse weather expected here and no adverse weather really expected over the next five or so days until we get perhaps to Thursday into Friday. That's when our next weather system will approach, giving us a decent shot for some showers and storms, I think, if one of the models is right. Now, some of the models giving us a slightly different picture with a drier solution. So we'll keep an eye on that and refine our forecast as we go over the next couple of days. One other thing we'll be keeping an eye on is that temperature on Monday. Check out what the record high is for Monday. 84 degrees set back in 2007. We're going to go for 80 degrees right now. May bump the temperature up one or two degrees as we get closer to Monday. So we'll also keep an eye on that. I know lots of people don't, not wanting us to set any more records highs, including Maggie, who's made sure that I know she doesn't like 80s anymore. She wants those 70s and fall like weather to stick around a little bit. So just a few days, you know, it, it's, a, it's a balancing act. We're getting some warmer temperatures for a few folks like me who like the warmer weather. <laughs> We're getting some 70s every once in a while for some cooler weather lovers. But We're just uh, on that balance beam. Well, I asked Keep Ricky counting. the other day what his favorite season was, thinking that he might say fall. But it's summer. Yeah. <laughs> so he likes the warmer temperatures. It's always the girls who like the fall because, you know, you get the, the pumpkin spice and the, the, the boots, boots and, the and everything. Me, I'm like, ugh, winter's coming. <laughs>